Hello, friend. Will grow. And uh, day six of the course on StatPro. So, in the previous uh, lecture, we had uh, completed marking the coordinates of the plan, and uh, now uh, we will start the process in StatPro. And before start starting the video, make sure you like uh, the video because it helps to reach reach out. So, I had told you earlier that uh, you know before starting. Start for the first thing which you need to do is you need to create a new folder. You can see that I have already created a new folder, and uh, you know this is the new folder which I have created. And uh, then you can open the stand so app and uh, you open and then click on new project. And uh, let's select the location here. Uh, you have to select the location of the folder which you have uh, made. So I'll do that. on okay and uh, then uh, just uh, units you can see units is meter and kilometer and exactly uh, we had prepared the file in meter so no problem in that next and uh, click on finish so once uh, this is done uh, make sure you just select this and uh, deselect this so once this is deselected uh, you can start working on the uh, stat file so for that you can insert the coordinates so we had already uh, you know I'll just uh, prepare the coordinates here and uh, you can see in the AutoCAD file uh, we have the coordinates so uh, viewing these coordinates we'll just simply insert the coordinates here and uh, one thing you can see uh, which is the difference between the AutoCAD and the stat is the is, is the x y and z the global uh, you know coordinate system i can see this is the you know x and y in this uh, in this top view and if we go to the top view here you can see this is x and z right X and C. So this is a one difference, and you know we can easily adapt to that. So we are back to the three view, the isometric view, and uh, here we will just insert the coordinates. So uh, zero comma zero. So in X there will be zero. Y, which is the because this is the ground floor, it can be zero, no problem in that. And the Z, in the Z it will be your the portion which I've written that is zero. So let's write. It will get an idea how to write this. So I'll use the tab, tab, and tab again. So zero and then tab first coordinate inserted you can see the node also is here like this we'll do all the remaining things 3.9634 okay 3.9634 and uh, z is uh, still zero here right and then it's uh, 6.7073 6.7073 that is still zero and it is taking only up to three places of decimal right but showing but it is taking the entire thing okay so and then you have this uh, 10.0609 so uh, 10.0609 and uh, 000 and uh, then uh, you have this uh, next uh, thing which is uh, actually this portion on the staircase will start from here so you need to have a key beam here and uh, this beam also these uh, secondary beams also for the toilet portion uh, can give and definitely we'll consider that uh, but for now, what I'll do, I'll mark the coordinates of the column first, and after that, we'll go here. Why? You'll know. Why I'm doing this, we'll know in some time. I'll tell you. Okay, the next coordinate is 0 0.4, point, uh, uh, sorry, 0, 4.7002. So it is 0, 4.7002. And uh, this is 0, 4.7002. 4.7002 and uh, then we have uh, here uh, 6.7073 6.7073 and uh, 4.7002 and then we have here 10.0609 uh, 10.0609 1.7002 and uh, then uh, we have this uh, secondary beams going back to the primary ones let's see okay i think we marked this 5.61 we have marked this so no we have we haven't three after three we have taken 6.7 okay we haven't marked them uh, we are good we haven't marked any secondary ones so columns again uh, we have here no, this is zero first and then 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 8.160. 
8.160. I'm using the tab command to you know just uh, move. So then we have 3.9634 again, 3.9634, and uh, then uh, uh, the same 8.16. And what is this? That uh, 8.160. So 8.160. Uh, okay, it, it is 8.8160 actually. Uh, it is 8.8160, 8.8160. Here also we correct it. 8.8160. Now it's correct. Okay, so let's move on to the correction. So uh, here we have is uh, the column 7.3170. So it is 7.313170. And the next uh, thing which you have is 8.8160. 8.8160. And uh, then again, after 7.317, we have 10.0609. So it will be 10.0609. Uh, 10 10 right? 10.0609. And... Uh, uh, here and then we have 8.8160, 8.8160, right? So this is done. And uh, after that, we have the next coordinates you can see here. So it will be 13.0, 13 13.1097. 13 so, uh, 7.3, uh, one seven and after that ten point zero six that will be good. So next we'll have a uh, zero comma thirteen point one zero nine seven. So a zero thirteen point one zero nine seven. So this is uh, this and uh, three point nine six three four three point nine six three four thirteen point is it uh, one zero nine seven. 13.1097, enter, let's in tab. So, and then we have this uh, 7.1370. Uh, I can also do this like 7.1370 is from here, you can copy this. So it is 7.1370. And uh, this one is 13.11, uh, what was that, I forget about the time. So that's 13.1097. So 13.1097. So then we have a year 10.0609. Uh, 10.0609. And uh, step. And then you have here 13.1097. 13.1097. So this is it. This is, these are the actually the columns you can see it uh, just click here and uh, from the top view you can see uh, these are the uh, columns here so first of all i'll select this and uh, now for selecting this you can see this is not been selected just take the note cursor and then you can select this and uh, when you have selected these are the columns these are at the plinth level so i have to give my plinth level height plus my foundation depth so uh, foundation depth i'm consider, uh, considering as 1.5 meter right 1.5 meter and plus the plinth height i'm considered as 0.45 450 mm plinth height i'm considering so total is 1.95 so 1.95 below i have to give this uh, uh this uh, particular uh things coordinates because the columns will go up to the foundation so uh, it can go to go a little bit less than 1.95 because the foundation depth minimum foundation depth will be uh, my 300 mm so uh in that case, we can uh, go um, deduct 300 mm also. So just uh, I can see the calculator. I'll just do it again. So it is 1.5 uh, uh, plus 0.45, and you can deduct 300 mm. Let's deduct 250 minus 0 0.25. Okay, so it will be 1.7. So 1.7 meter will just uh, go below. So for that, all the things are selected with the translation repeat command, and uh, it will be definitely in the y direction and uh, the spacing will be your uh, let's look at my minus 1.7 meter so it will be minus 1.7 since it's at, at, at the bottom so just a click on okay and you can see the 3d view uh, these coordinates are 
there actually you can see it. so uh, all these uh, coordinates you can join you can see like the you do the command add beams and you can uh, join these coordinates uh, make sure we join this from bottom to top right so So uh, this is uh, done here, like this, the foundation level, the plane level. Now you can add the secondary beams, uh, you know, coordinates here. So we can uh, simply add the other coordinates which you need. So uh, let's add them. Because in the plane level, in, the, in, the, in this level, we'll give constant beams. So uh, we'll not consider the them, but in the plane level, we will, uh, you know, actually, uh, we will give this uh, plane beams since we can uh, give you the lease. So, uh, we will give this uh, plane beams if required and uh, we will also provide the location for the conceal beams okay in the you know this uh, next piece. okay for this code let's uh, do this and uh, it will be a zero point uh, Zero, um, it, it, there is zero comma three point uh, three two six two. Zero comma three point three two six two. So let's mark it. This one is uh, your three point three two six two. And the next one is uh, 2.337, 3.2362. Next one is your 3.9634. So you can see the coordinates where they are being placed. You can see that there the coordinates are being placed. Just uh, I'll just pause this. You can see the new zero which they have taken is at the bottom level. So we cannot provide the uh, y zero here. We have to provide the y which is provided. There is one point seven. Then it will come up. So show you one point seven. If you provide, then it uh, goes up. So, You just uh, uh, see which in the uh, top view as well. It will not show anything. You can see here. Okay, okay. No need to provide 1.7. Zero is enough, right? Zero is okay. This is minus 1.7. This was zero is okay. It's along this level only. So it is like, all right. We're doing good. Uh, now I'll just select this and go to the top view. Right, and uh, we'll just continue. So this is a three point nine six three four. Three point nine six three four. And uh, then it is six point seven zero three. Okay, so that is three point three two six two. Three point three two six two. And then we have this 6.7073, So this is done here. And then uh, this portion is done. And then the other secondary beams, uh, as you can see, these are there. But uh, okay, if you don't consider them, you can consider them also. If you don't consider them now, uh, it will be okay. No problem in that, or we can consider it later also. But now, for now, we'll not consider them. 
okay but you know now right how to do that or whenever you do the project make sure you include that okay so now we will do up to this much and uh, here uh, we'll join the beams now so select this click on this add beams and uh, we'll join the beams here so uh, here joining the beams from left to right There is some error in this uh, particular node or this one node. So we'll see uh, the coordinates of the node first. So it should be 8.8160. So, uh, and uh, the Z coordinate, it is okay. The, uh, the X coordinate is 7.3170. So let's see and uh, check here. So it is uh, node number 15. So it is 7.137. So it is good, and I think then there is there is problem with this particular node. This is node number seven. So it is. Uh, let me click on this node here. Node number. Take the node cursor. Select this node. This seven point uh, uh, three one seven. So it is seven point three one. Three one seven. Three one seven zero. So it's okay. And this one is 7.137. So actually it is 7.317, not 7.137. That's why it is wrong here. So it will be 7.317. And I think this is the minus 1.71 node, the remaining one also we have to correct. And uh, this one, as you can see, this one is correct and this one is also uh, 7.317 so now just a look in the 3d as well it is okay and uh, placed properly now this one this particular beam so let's go back to the top view and uh, join the just continue joining the beams like this some errors come. you can easily rectify those errors Like this, uh, you have made the uh, plan here and uh, the ground floor plan, as you can see, ready. I've not added some secondary beams uh, because they won't make some difference in the design. But you can, when you are doing it, make sure you do that. You know the process. Okay. Uh, then uh, we'll go to the front view and uh, front view. We'll select uh, this part like this has been selected uh, in the front view. And uh, we'll avoid uh, this portion, right? This portion we'll avoid. And uh, this beam will take because, you know, in the front, uh, just uh, this will be the beam where, you know, the staircase will end. So we'll need a beam here. This one will avoid because already you've seen that doesn't make much difference here in the slab design. So this portion will take. And uh, after taking this, uh, what we'll do, We'll just uh, uh, go to translation repeat command y direction spacing will be three meter and then click on. Then uh, we'll do one thing. We'll just go to the front view. Uh, select this 
and uh, we'll go to view and uh, click on uh, selected objects on go to the top view and here uh, you can see and check this out so uh, now uh, we will need to add uh, some things and uh, if required delete some things so first of all this node is not required let's delete them and uh, when you delete them the beam will also be deleted so add the beam once again right so now we are good and uh, uh, when we are doing this uh, we'll add the you know balcony and the mid landing portion will add separately because it's not here balcony portion will add here and the balcony portion length you can see it uh, from here so the total length of the balcony portion from the a center line actually you have to take so just take a center line from here 300 mm column we're going to provide and uh, take it to the end to the end you could take so it's 1.372 uh, uh, so uh, we will take this node we take this node take this node and this node what is the uh, direction here the direction is uh, you know obviously z and z whenever you go up there is positive and if you go downwards there will be negative so it will be uh, if you do translation repeat it will be your minus 1.372 can we do this uh, in translation repeat let's see z direction One point three seven two. So we have done this, and after doing this, just uh, do that thing command. Join them. Okay. Uh, this is simply joined and uh, same will be for the backward portion as well uh, let's see the offset there from their center let's see the offset the center to the end 1.067 so node cursor is selected node cursor select this node control select this node control select this node control select this node okay and then uh, translation will repeat this time we z and positive z it will be and you know the spacing is 1.067 1.067 join the nodes So like this, uh, you have provided the cantilever uh, beams here like this. So uh, after providing this, you can just have a look at your structure here. Uh, you go to view and uh, hold the structure. Now you join the columns, uh, column to column the beams of all them, you join them. So select and join them carefully.
I'm rotating with the help of the you know keys, direction keys in the keyboard. Okay. Okay, so one thing I need to check for this, I think there is an extra node here. So I'll go to the front view. Uh and just to select this like this and uh view selected objects only. Go to the top view. So see what this node was given for. Okay, there is a you know joining there. So that's why. Uh, that's why we are given this, but now for now, we'll just uh, I'll just delete this. I uh, don't need this. I'll just select the uh, node cursor, select this node, select this node, and uh, delete these nodes here. And uh, after that, I'll use the read command to just add the command to add the node. I'll do that. Go to the main view whole structure. Uh, so like this, we have done the secondary views, you know, can be added We know the process, make sure to do that, not a letter because uh, from my experience, I know that much difference should not be made, but since you are doing, you have to do all the secondary views also. Okay. So after doing this, uh, we need to go towards the, proceed towards the uh, next level. And uh, in the next level, we'll see uh, what are the coordinates uh, of this, uh, which we have prepared and you can see the coordinates here. And uh, you can see exactly uh, all the locations where we have the columns here, actually. Uh, this one was missed by some reason. And uh, this one will be this, obviously, part of the scene. And uh, then part of this B. This is this. Let's see. Okay. So all the uh, for the locations where you have the columns and and then the uh, this uh, location, this one, uh, we have to copy above. So uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll just uh, select all the nodes which has the you know columns in them. Then uh, we can uh, do them easily, little bit easily. We can just uh, select. Uh, uh this level like this and uh, view selected objects only go to the top view and then uh, use the node cursor and uh you know actually the next floor is also pretty much the same because secondary beams you are not considering so for that it is pretty much the same everything so well, what we can do we can just uh select the normal cursor select the entire structure like this and uh, we can go and uh, go to the stationary repeat and uh, don't we not link steps because sometimes there is error in the link steps so that's why you avoid that y direction and uh, this will be your good and old three meters and uh, click on open. just uh, go to view and uh, view select view this whole structure so now we'll join this okay so uh, since we are joining this, I'll tell you one thing. One thing we've skipped in this that we are not, uh, you know, adding the secondary views. Another thing I'll skip that uh, I'll skip adding the, you know, this staircase. So there is a, you know, this second or third portion of this lecture of this course. We had already covered how to design the staircase. So when you are making this model, make sure you do the staircase portion also, right? Because anything which you want to learn, you only learn to practice. The more you practice, the better you learn. Okay. So make sure you do the staircase as well in this uh, model when you're making this model, just like the one which I had shown in the earlier video. Process is the same. We have to do this. 
and when you are joining this uh, columns or beams you have to be very careful to be at height of your concentration so that no error occurs right so here i uh, would have completed the model that the only remaining things we not consider are the staircase and the secondary beams which you know how to do it and you will do it i hope so okay so i uh, will go to this uh, we are in now we are in general right we are in general and uh, we'll put a general go to supports and we'll create a support here fixed support will add the purpose of this fixed support is to denote the monolithic or the you know, the connection between our column and putting since you're not writing putting here so what we'll do in the bottom level we'll select all these uh, nodes here and then as i do selected nodes and we yes, can see in the 3d view this uh, nodes are provided in this uh, model here properly and uh, after they are provided the next thing which we need to do is we need to provide the uh, loads and all so next we'll go to the property and uh, define this our beams and columns sizes so we can now save whatever we have done till now right and then we can go click on define and uh, define uh, here we'll define a rectangle and uh, the size of this will be uh, 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 this will be for our columns first thing and you can see 215 to 300 will be a thin beam i want that so 0.25 into 0.3 for uh, our pin beams just uh, click on add and 0.25 into 0.35 or one for our roof beams click on add so after doing this just uh, close this and you can define the thickness from here to consider the load of our roof slab so uh, thickness of this concrete material you consider as 0.125 mm and then click on add close this uh, since we will not do slab design here but we will consider the dead load of the slab so considering dead load in, of the slab we'll, we are doing this okay so we don't have to separately provide the dead load already it will the software will consider that right that's why now let's assign this so first of all uh, we'll go to select this the column one point three to point three uh, select uh, beams parallel to y and then assign to selected beams assign and yes uh this one uh, this is uh, for the clean beam so we'll go to the front view here and uh, select the clean beam like this go to this perspective view isometric view and then uh, assign to selected beams assign and yes and then we'll go to the uh, front view yet again and we'll uh, select uh, this and control press control and select this headroom also you have not made you can make the headroom also uh, also we have shown in the you know first or the second lecture how to make the entire model do as for that okay so 0.3 to 0.25 this one assign to selected beams assign and yes this uh, we have done here and uh, now all these beams have been assigned all the columns have been assigned so next comes the part of the load so the loading part we'll do in the next lecture make sure you practice this all of this and uh, if you're watching this video for the first time make sure to start from the first lecture of this series keep learning bye bye